Canadian novelist Robert J. Sawyer is no slacker. His 24th novel, The Oppenheimer Alternative, has many of the trademarks of his previous books focused on real-life characters. It is deeply, deeply researched. Joining us from Toronto is Robert J. Sawyer. Thanks for speaking with us today, Rob. An absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. Now, this book took you four years to finish. That included a full two years of research. Why do you put so much research into a, 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 a work of fiction, essentially? Well, although this is my 24th novel, it's the first one in which the characters aren't my invention. Mm -hmm. Every single person in this book is a real and famous historical character. J. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb, Albert Einstein, Edward Teller, the father of the hydrogen bomb, and so forth. So to get them right, they have living relatives still. They have historians who've devoted their careers to studying them. To get those voices and those personalities correct, I had to do that much research. Mm -hmm. I like to think it shows in the text. Yeah, absolutely. I'll get back to this book in just a second, but I do wonder, uh, during the lockdown, during the quarantine, I've heard from a lot of creative people that it's actually quite helpful to them. It gives them more time to work on stuff like this. How has it been for you? It has been precisely that. You know, I, you introduced me as Toronto because that's what I told you. I live in a suburb of Toronto and I do some film and TV writing. There are pointless meetings I used to have to spend an hour <laughs> or an hour and a half getting to each day for uh, production meetings and so forth. Those have all fallen by the wayside. I'm getting peace and quiet and isolation, which not to minimize the tragedy that anybody else is suffering mm -hmm. is exactly what a writer needs. We are coming up to the 75th anniversary of the testing and the use of the atomic bomb, uh, or bombs rather, in Japan, in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Uh, this has been the focus of debate for decades now. Do you believe it was necessary to use the atomic bomb to bring World War II to an end? It was not. Categorically certain that it was not. The Japanese had been suing for peace, making overtures for surrender through back channels for a full year before the bombs were dropped. The point was not to subdue Japan, who were willing to surrender. The point was to show Stalin and the Soviets who was going to lead the post-war world. It was very much American nationalism at, that led to the very tragic destruction of those two innocent Japanese cities. The mm. Japanese government wasn't innocent, of course, but the citizens in those cities certainly were. And your book certainly reflects the fact that Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer was very conflicted about his role in this, too. He really got conflicted in those 72 hours between Hiroshima, which he thought, okay, maybe we did have to do this. And Nagasaki, three days later, when they did it a second time, why? We didn't even give them a chance. Remember the telegraph lines, the telephone lines, there was no TV. Communication was down between Hiroshima and Tokyo. And yet they expected an instantaneous surrender. There was no way for the prime minister or the emperor to even begin to assess for a few days what this unprecedented weapon had done. Mm -hmm. And off, when the second one was dropped, he, he changed his tune completely. He said, I wash my hands of atomic weapons for the rest of my life. I can't imagine this is your last book. What are you working on next? So I, this COVID-19 thing has really caught my imagination. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering what a post-virtual world is going to be like when we actually have to go back and interact face-to-face -face and get in each other's physical space again. I'm working on a novel that very much comes out of that, of course, with science fictional masks and metaphors, but deals with how do you go back to actually being a physically interactive species. Yeah, great, great idea. Food for thought there. Thanks very much for joining us and good luck with the book. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Robert J. Sawyer's new book is The Oppenheimer Alternative. For more information on him and the book, check out his website, sfwriter.com. He's also on Facebook and Twitter.